Hello my gorgeous makeup loving friends, it's been another week, thanks for popping by, I know you're busy, Umbrella Academy season 2 and Good Girl season 3 is on Netflix and <laughs> I'll be honest with you, as soon as I'm done filming that I'm going to wash off all of this makeup and uh, watch that and then do some Zumba with Elena because you know, I love her. Um, quick little announcement, read the whole beauty glazed uh, asbestos thing. I'm not going to re reiterate any of that, but my friend Elena from Elena Glam has actually uh, made a number of statements on that. So I'm going to link her channel down below and you can go and look at that because she has kind of um, summarised it much better than I would. And I don't want to take up too much time talking about that, even though it is like a major health concern thing. But I just I don't want to repeat information that other people have already put out there. Um, but let's just get straight into it. I want to say thank you to Thea, to Shahina, to Jenny and to Paula for tagging me in content uh, for this week. It makes this so much easier for me. I wildly appreciate it. I have a cat right next to me. Sergeant Fuzzy Boots. She doesn't look very impressed. Yeah, you can kind of see the absolute shambles that is my makeup table. But look, let's get straight into it. Uh, I have to try and make myself semi-comfortable. I never am. It's just how it is. But let's get straight into it. Um, it Cosmetics have revealed their new Your Skin But Better Hydrating Foundation. They say it's a buildable medium coverage foundation which minimizes the look of pores and imperfections while delivering all day hydration and wear with a natural radiant uh, finish. They say it has hyaluronic acid, which of course makes sense because if it's hydrating, it would need to have hyaluronic, well not need to have hyaluronic acid, but hyaluronic acid would give you that. It has aloe vera extract plus vitamins E and B5. Um, so it's apparently going to be available August 2nd. So that is the day that this video is uploading and it's going to be on It Cosmetics for 39 dollars fifty if you're interested. We talked about Patrick Starr before and his new brand One Size and there was a lot of like oh it's going to be new it's going to be different and then he came out with makeup wipes and a dissolving spray. But he now has extra things because let's face it the, the makeup wipes etc was like so anticlimactic it didn't really make sense as an initial launch but this is what he's come out with and I'm going to be honest I'm also like, uh, here, it's not much better than the makeup wipes, is it? Yeah. So there's the Patrick Star with three ores, Visionary Eyeshadow Palette. I don't see anything visionary about it. Like it is literally a neutral palette with a pop of blue. Like that has been around for years. Like there is the, the joke around, oh, it's a neutral palette with a pop of blue. And I'm like, Patrick, I would have thought you would have gone for something a little bit more interesting. This is just not it for me. It is at $42 and there's 15 shadows and it has mattes and shimmer shades. So it's not even like something interesting like a metal foil or a duochrome or anything. I'm just like, I feel like I've seen this sort of a palette like from Ulta, you know, like how Ulta has their own eyeshadow palettes. And I know this and I'm in Ireland and we don't have Ulta, but they have their own ones or Sephora has their own ones. And I'm like, I'm fairly certain we've seen something like this before. In addition to that, they have uh, a point made 24 hour liquid eyeliner pen in bodacious black matte finish uh, for $19. That looks, I mean, it's okay, but it's like, it's an eyeliner. Like literally everyone has that. $19 is on the price you're in for something like that. They have the Eye Popper Sparkle Vision Liquid Eyeshadow. And that is $22 and that comes in five different shades. Let's be real, I've gotten liquid eyeshadows in the past and I rarely use them. I just end up going for an eyeshadow palette. Unless you're getting like something really, really um, special like Stila, you just kind of don't tend to use liquid eyeshadows. I know I don't. Uh, and they're $22 each. It's very expensive. It's around about the price point of Stila. I'm just saying. And they also have the Point Made 24 hour gel eyeliner pencil, which has a matte finish. And there's two shades, black and a brown, $19 each. They're not even interesting colors. Like black and brown are, yeah, they're staples, but not interesting. Yeah, um, they are already available. They released on July 30th, if you happen to be interested. M Cosmetics, EM Cosmetics, um, they have come out with four new shades of their serum blushes. They're $25 each. They come in Peachy Peach, Venetian Rose, which is a rosy nude, 
uh, Little Lilac and Cherry Splash, which is a red, and they were available on July 26th, if you are interested. Um, if you're into like, you know, your liquid blushes, they're apparently meant to be really, really good and really, really nice. Um, but they are, I think, it, an American brand. So for those of us in Europe, it, it doesn't really make sense to buy them because we have to pay for customs. It's a bit rubbish. Okay, this is by Glitter Goon Mafia. And um, I'd have thought, okay, so the, the, the eyeshadow palette is called I Am My Goonies Keeper which I do not get, like I don't get that as a, a name. Also, can you see the name of the blue shade? It seems very timely considering everything that's happening. I don't like the names of the, um, of the eyeshadows. They kind of annoy me. Am I, I mean, Elena was like, you're so frustrated and angry in your last video. And I was like, was I? Like, I didn't feel it. I think I just get extra sassy in these because I'm like, there are so many releases. And to me, a lot of them feel mm -mm -mm, unnecessary because I'm like, we have this. We have this palette from several different brands. Um, It's $15. Yeah, but like neutral with a pop of blue. Have you met Patrick Starr? I just, yeah, it's not, it's not for me. Um, mm. Uh, Star Rain Cosmetics also have a new release. It is $20. It has eight mattes and four shimmers. It is cruelty free and vegan. Um, this again is a neutral with a bit of blue and green. I mean, I love green, but yeah, I mean, $20 isn't bad, like for an indie brand, let's be real. And when there's 12 shades, it works out pretty okay. But I don't, I will also say that needs to be edited because those brown shades look very very similar to each other and I kind of feel like once they're put on the eye you're not going to be able to distinguish between them. Also do you like my earrings? I got them in Tesco and I showed them to my friend Rebecca who I've talked about before. Um, she is Rebecca JU reporting for Beauty Duty. Do please check her out. I should hopefully have her pinned down in the comments or in the description box depending upon how many characters I have. Um, but I showed these to her and I was like, oh, I think you'd really love these. And she pulled out, she had a pair of earrings exactly like that, but in like a yellowy orange. And I was like, I know you, I know you well to the point that I have picked out earrings that you already own. <sighs> Anyways, whatever. I like them in white. I think they're really cute. Um, this is by Laced with Cherry. I do think this is actually quite interesting. It is $21.99. It's a pink toned palette with a bit of like purpley burgundy reds, uh, mostly in glitters. Uh, and I do think it's quite interesting. Now, I do think it lacks the deeper matte tones to really make this, I think, worth purchasing because the deeper tones are glitters and anything that is, like it, there's there isn't enough depth in it to make a really interesting look because again like even if you look down at the bottom row which appears to be mattes there there isn't enough difference in them that in particularly in the shades pink slip and cashmere i think that they're going to perform very very similarly on the eye i think this was an interesting concept but wasn't executed as well as it could have been uh this is janelica i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right it's z-h-a-n-e-l-i-c-a -E um they have their new palette and it is 35 dollars. it is the eva palette it's, it's very bright um Again, those two yellows are going to look exactly the same on the eyes. Mm. I can't figure out a cohesive... Well, I kind of can, but it's going to be very like rainbow and you're not going to have the depth necessary to get something really, really interesting. It's just going to be a bright look. You're probably going to have to dip into other palettes for that. And for $35, I'm like, I think if you're paying that much for a palette, you shouldn't have to hop into something else. Do you know what I mean? Like, is that just me? I kind of think if I'm paying that much for a palette, it's going to have to be a standalone palette that I'm not like dipping into something else for. That Maybe that's just me. Uh, Fear Fearless Beauté have collaborated with Aura's Makeup Box and they've come out with the Fearless Aura Eyeshadow Palette. It has 16 shades and it is available now for pre-order for $24.99. Um, I mean, I do like um, that... I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be nice. 
I like that, say for instance, they have a white matte and then like a white shimmer. It kind of reminds me a little bit of what Tati did with her textured palette. Like I, I think that's a, an interesting concept. But do you see the yellows there? They're both matte, two of them are matte and they are in no way different to each other. They're two creamy shimmers that look exactly the same. The shade, um, is it Capitalizing and Divina or something? I can't really read it because I'm blind. They look exactly the same. This was so poorly edited. It could have been brought down to like, I think a 10 pan or a nine pan palette, no problem. Yeah, not, not for me, obviously. I thought this was interesting. This is from Violet Voss. It is their new Sakura Blossom eyeshadow palette. It is $42, it is available now. Um, this, unlike the palette that I was talking about by the, what was it, Licked by Cherry or something, this has some depth to it. You have some kind of deeper tones that you can um, like do a look with. I don't think though, however, there's enough light tones in this. It, it is like a, a neutral palette with pink because there are some fairly neutral colors in it. That being said, I think it's fairly interesting and it, it's nice to see Violet Voss kind of doing something a little bit different because there was a point where they were literally the Holy Grail. They had a Holy Grail palette, which was called the Holy Grail. <laughs> and um, they kind of just dropped off. Like we don't really hear much about them these days, but I, I think this is kind of interesting. I just think there needed to be more lighter colors to make it a bit more, yeah, not that you're having to go in with other things. Um, they also came out with this, which is the Essentials 2 eyeshadow palette. That is uh, available for $32. It is a very cool toned palette. It has uh, blue and purple in it. And let's face it, blues and purples work really, really well with cool toned taupe. So I think that makes an awful lot of sense together. I think, however, with the purples, they have two shimmers. And again, I just think they needed a matte in there, you know, just to make it make more sense. Um, but maybe that's just me. Like, I think they could have gotten rid of maybe the either the copper or the rose gold and put in like a, like a, a matte pale purple or something. I think that would have been really nice or like a deeper purple. Is that just me? That just me, maybe, I don't know. Charlotte Tilbury has a new shade in her Air, Airbrush Flawless Setting Powder. It is uh, apparently in the shade Deep, which can, can I just for a second say that doesn't look wildly deep to me. And I am a very, I am, I am Casper, but that does not look very deep to me. It is $45 and they also have a new airbrush flawless setting spray for $35, which they say primes, sets and hydrates for up to 16 hours. It has aloe vera, Japanese green tea and fresh floral scent. So those are available now if you're interested. Live Tinted has a new uh, Unity Balm Gloss. It's an ultra hydrating formula uniting the conditioning of, uh, benefits of a balm and the shine factor of a gloss. It's apparently packed with squares hyaluronic acid and vitamin C and E to leave skin hydrated and dewy. Um, you can uh, apparently get it for $20 and it's vegan, uh, fragrance and cruelty free. I don't personally like fragrance in some cosmetics. Um, there's some things I really like the smell of and then there's other things that I'm like, oh, I hate a vanilla scent. I, I don't know what it is about it. I just, I really don't like it. Ugh. Like, makes me think of like stickiness of ice cream or something and makes me feel like my hands are dirty. I don't know what it is. It's just a thing with me. Um, I sneak peeked this last week and um, I re said that I thought it was going to be like an eyeshadow or a face palette. Um, I wasn't wrong. I did think it was going to be much more expensive than he has it put out for. Um, I had said I thought it was going to be $90. Actually, the eyeshadow palette is uh, $55. It's the Imperial Topaz and the um, eye pencils are $14 each. So it's a lot cheaper than I thought it was going to be considering the price point of his other things. He has actually said that in terms of his eyeshadow palettes, he's going to have a black in all of them. And while I personally don't mind having a black in my eyeshadow palettes, I like those to deepen out things. Not everyone likes that. Um, I, I figured it was going to be a fairly neutral thing. Like I'm obviously in no way interested uh, by this. I think it's a very good staple palette for somebody who's just like one and done eyeshadow palette. That's all they want. They want like their go to work evening out palette. Like that's fine for that. Or if you're doing like um, makeup professionally and you're doing like bridal shoots, etc. That's pretty good. 
But yeah, I, I mean, it's clearly, it's not for me. It's available now if you are interested. Um, Ace of Hearts have come out with a new uh, lip oil and uh, that is available now. It has peppermint in it and there's natural oils for a high shine and extreme moisture if you are interested in those. Etherreal Makeup has a new Etherreal eyeshadow palette. It's quite pastel-y. It's in the shape of a cloud because Etherreal, I suppose. Am I correct? Etherreal. Etherreal. It's a weird, weird word to pronounce. It's $35 if you are interested in it, FYI. Um, does this look familiar? Yeah, it looks very much like the Natasha Denona Met uh, Metropolis palette, which I have I have put into my basket, taken out of my basket, put into my basket, taken out of my basket, because it's £111. Like, it's effing bananas. And I just, I couldn't, I couldn't justify it because I'm like, it's primarily quite neutral and I just don't think I'd get enough wear of it to spend £111 on. However, this is a Shop Alter Ego's um, counterpart and it's $22. Um, FYI, you can use the code Annette10. It's not, for, it's not my code, obviously, I don't have codes, um, but it's from Annette's Makeup Corner who, uh, I, I stole the picture from her. I'm giving her credit now. Thank you, Annette. Uh, you don't know me, but I much appreciate it. Um, it is from Shop Alter Ego. I would happily buy this. However, Shop Alter Ego are only available in the United States and aren't available in Europe. Why? Why? I'd really like to try it. I really, really would. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Elena Glam ends up getting it, in which case, you know, check out her channel. I think that'll be really interesting. Um, also, Makeup by Yaya, who is a subscriber of mine, and I've watched some of her stuff, she's also getting it. Um, but her her videos are in Portuguese or Spanish. I can't, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not good with that. Um, I have no idea what she's saying, but I enjoy it. And I like watching her put on makeup. So, and I feel very cultured. <laughs> Um, Kylie Cosmetics have come out with uh, their new lip blush kits. Uh, they have matching liners uh, in four nude shades in Heaven Scent, Au Naturel, Do You Boo and Nude Attitude. Those are available now if you are interested. Kylie Skin has also come out with their new clarifying collection. I don't get anything from Kylie Skin because most people who are into skincare say that they don't necessarily have like good ingredients in them and I'm like, I will go with what you're saying. Um, I, I can't really say much on that. So they have the CCC stick for $15. It's a gel serum solution which targets desired areas and helps to gently exfoliate the skin. It's a non-stripping formula, apparently. They also have the clarifying facial oil for $24. It's ultra lightweight, helps to clarify impurities and condition the skin, formulated with blends of oils, licorice root and vitamin E to provide a nourishing moisture, while salicylic acid helps to improve the appearance of texture and uneven skin tone. It depends as to how much salicylic acid it is in it like you don't want too much either because it will damn well not damage your skin but it's not good like you know you need it in a lowish dose but also high enough it's like that sweet spot of like um like the, the oh, like goldilocks i was like bears the three little bears it's not the three little bears it's goldilocks um it, it has to be like just right like high enough but not too high. Uh, they also have the detox face mask for $22, which can I just say is pricey enough. It has a kaolin oil, am I pronouncing that right? Is it, or is it kaolin? Kaolin, kaolin? Bentonite clay and charcoal to remove impurities and excess oil. It's apparently infused with mineral rich sea salt and fruit extracts that deliver vital conditioning uh, while hyaluronic acid provides added hydration. They also have the face mask brush for $14, which is made from synthetic fibers, and that's gonna be available from August uh, 6th, if you are interested. Um, Real Techniques have come out with something new and innovative. Not really, I'm just joking. They have a new tie-dye inspired um, sponge. So it's the same sponge as usual, but they did change the formula a while back, and I have one of their old sponges, and I love it, like it's so nice. And, and spongy and squishy, but the new ones are kind of firm and it feels like you're assaulting your face. So yeah, it's $4.88 if you are interested. Um, this Shahina actually um, tagged me in this. It's from Beauty News UK. And I don't know if it's necessarily a new, new makeup release, but I thought I'd uh, put this here because quite a few of us like going to pennies or Primark. And this is apparently a, a dupe alert. So it seems to, it's their new bronze whip velvet finish cream bronzer. So it might be a decent um, 
sort of a, a dupe for Huda's Tantour. Like I'm just saying, that is out in Primark or Pennies now if you are interested. Uh, we talked about Fenty skin before in terms of uh, sneak peeks. We now know what's happening. Um, so they have the Total Cl Cleanse or Remove It All Cleanser for $25, the Fat Water Pore Refining Toner Serum for $28, the Hydrovisor Invisible uh, Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen for $35. That's already available if you aren't. I think those are quite pricey. Like I knew they'd be pricey, but it's, it's still it's quite pricey. Um, considering they haven't really said what's in it. They did say they're clinically tested, clean, vegan, and earth conscious, which I do like. So well done them, I guess. Uh, Scott Barnes has come out with um, his summer collection, which can I just say, it's August. It's very late. I know everything has been delayed because, you know, the Rona, but, um, oh, the Rona. <laughs> but I'm like, we're heading into autumn now, or fall, if you're American. I know some of you are, so you know, I'll speak the lingo. Trash. Um, not that you're trash, and never mind. Garbage. Do you like my American accent? I'm so sorry. I'm like wildly offended people. But I have heard people doing terrible Irish accents, so we're even now. Yes, um, but I have this collection, and I just feel like it's super late. It reminds me also very much of Particularly the more colourful palette of something from that I saw from Dior like way, way back. So they have the Tequila Sunrise Mini Palette, which is the one that I think looks like something from Dior. Uh, it's $25, which isn't bad, but again, it's not a cohesive colour story. I don't get it. The colourful sh uh, shades, the magenta and the teal, they're shimmers. So what are you going to do with that? I don't know. They have the Shimmering Sand Mini Palette, which is quite cool toned. That's interesting. That's $25. I mean, it's okay, but I think there's there's more interesting stuff out there. They have the Salai Bronzer, and it comes in two shades. They're $55 each. So there's the Bondi Beach, which is for golden tones, and Sicilian Sun for warmer reddish skin tones. Don't think either of them would suit me, but there you go. It's fine. I don't need them. Uh, and they also have the Glossy Trio, which is Flossy Glossy. It's a set of three Flossy Glossies in summer inspired shades for $63. So it doesn't seem that you can get them separately. You get them together. There's Coral Cabana, which is a coral pink gloss. Blondie, a nude shimmer. And Crystal, which is a sheer iridescent gloss. And they are available now on his website. Too Faced have um, some new lashes, but it seems to only be in Australia. They don't seem to be coming any, well, not anywhere else at the moment. But they're 27 Australian dollars each. They come in the styles Drama Queen, Doll Eye, Sex Kitten, and Natural Flirt. I mean, they look kind of nice, but like that is pricey, 27 Australian dollars, which I know the Australian dollar is particularly weak. So it'd be like, what, 20, 20 American dollars, something like that, maybe 17 pounds. I still feel like that's really pricey. Uh, Dior Couture have come out with their new Plant One On Me collection um, and it has six shades. I really like the green. Are we surprised? The blue is beautiful as well. I really like that sort of a matte finish but I don't really wear nail polish that much anymore because I'm lazy. Uh, they are uh, $10 each, or you can get the whole collection together for $55, which will save you $5 in all. Uh, OMFG Cosmetics are launching their new crystal brush set. It launched today. It is $25 and you get 10 brushes with it. So it seems to be a mixture of face brushes and eye brushes. $25, that is not bad. Um, now we're on to the revolution section. Makeup Revolution have um, some new Sugar Kiss lip scrubs and um, they come in the new Dream Kiss lip balm and Sugar Kiss lip scrub in Pineapple Crush, Watermelon Heaven and Craven Coconuts. Um, that is five pounds, five euro 99 or, uh, uh, or seven pounds each. So one is, I don't know if it's the lip scrub or because there's also a balm, I don't know. Or maybe they meant $7 each. I assume $7 rather than pounds. <sighs> get, get on it. Check your Insta. Uh, they also have the Dream Kiss Lip Balm. Uh, they, can, they said that it, you can use it as a leave-on mask overnight or as a regular balm. It's formulated with hyaluronic acid, jojoba oil, shea butter, and vitamin E. And again, those come in uh, three different uh, flavors. So they're available now if you're interested. In addition to that, they also have... Um, 
some new uh, Focus Capsule collection. So they have the Bronzed Glow, uh, which is a new rosy gold uh, nude eyeshadow uh, colors. And um, I mean, it's not interesting to me. However, I saw that Christina um, Collins, she has her own YouTube channel. Do please check her out. Again, I'll link her below. I saw on her Instagram that she bought these and I was like, of course you have. I haven't even put them into my bloody new makeup releases video and you've already bought them. So she will likely have a video up on that palette. And she also got the Nude on Nude, which is kind of um, like, it, I've seen so many pictures of it and I don't know which one is accurate. Chrissy's picture, um, check it out on Instagram. It seems to be like a purpley, it reminds me a little bit of modern Renaissance. So I'm kind of like, if you have that, I don't think you need it. If you've had modern Renaissance and you didn't use that, this may not be for you. It looks a little bit like that, but then like a pop of purple. It's, it's weird and confusing. Uh, £12.99, €14.99 Euro or $20 each if you are interested. Revolution Pro have also come out with their new Goddess Glow collection. So they have the Goddess Glow Finishing Powder, which is a weightless finishing powder that provides a subtle lit from within uh, glow to the skin. It's available in two shades, Splendor and Radiate for £8.8 8 Euro or $11 each. And they also have the Goddess Glow Setting Spray. It's partly infused with skin-loving niacinamide, which is vitamin B. I believe and cucumber oh, I love the smell of cucumber for a satisfying cooling effect which leaves the skin with a glowing dewy finish for eight pounds eight euro 99 or ten dollars that's really interesting that that's eight pounds eight euro 99 or ten dollars whereas the finishing powder is eight pounds eight euro 99 or eleven dollars but there's a one dollar difference between them that's really does anyone else like that strange or is it just me what's up with the markup for the Americans strange but there you go uh that is available now if you are interested and uh, nikita dragon has some more stuff coming out with dragon beauty and they are available now it's some new uh liquid lipsticks um i'm not sure if i can read out the names of them by the way you can use the code trend mood not my code obviously it's trend moods for 10 percent off if you are actually interested because they are available now there's blackmail pussy stunt why why are you naming your liquid lipsticks that whore chatta Whore chatter. W H O R E C H A T A. What does that even mean? Mm. Nikita and Dragon Blood. Here's the thing I actually like the shade Nikita and I like the shade Dragon Blood. Obviously, it's red, um, but I think Dragon Blood, it looks very similar to Uncensored by Fenty. So if you have that, you probably do not need it. I like that there's a black lipstick in there. I'm not brave enough and I don't have big enough lips to do a black lip. One day I'll have fillers. Um, Glisten Cosmetics have some new shades of liners, including Papaya, Fire and Jasper. They are £6.50 each if you are interested. So they are like, like orangey shades, which I think, uh, orange and red shades, which I think are really nice. Um, Ila Masca have come out with some new lipsticks. So there are two different formulas. There is the Ultra Matter lipstick and that comes in 10 different shades. It's high pigmentation and flawless, no shine finish. So it's gonna give you quite a matte finish. And there's the Sheer Veil lipstick and uh, that contains macadamia oil and uh, vitamin E. So it's obviously, it's a more sheer finish and that comes in at 12 shades. They are available now for £20 each if you're interested. Viseart have some new Petite Pro uh, palettes for the summer, uh, for midsummer and solstice. That's what they're called. So the uh, Petite Pro Solstice is more neutral toned and then the Petite Pro Midsummer is uh, nude rose shades. Uh, they are $30 each. Um, please beware if you do get the, the Vizier, I mean, they are tiny, the little mini pro, like they're so small. I quite like that they're small because I'm like, I never pan eyeshadows. So I think it actually makes a lot more sense. But what I would say is if somebody's getting the little mini ones of these, they're probably going to be ones who are like, this is my ride or die. I'm going to be using this every day. So I don't know. It's not for me. It's $30. Good that it's not for me because I need to save for a house. I don't want to live under a bridge. I'm not currently living under a bridge, obviously, but you know, one day I want to be a homeowner. Uh, L'Oreal Paris have come out with a new mascara. Um, the packaging is interesting. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. They say that 84% uh, say that their lashes feel light as air, which I'm like, big whoop. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, the before and after picture is semi-interesting, but I'm like, mm, I don't know, it kind of looks like you have falsies on, allegedly. Uh, $13.96 and it is coming soon apparently. Patrick Ta has a new liner and lipstick. Uh, it was released for National Lipstick Day. There was a lot of like sales and stuff going on. I haven't included those in the enabler alert because by the time this gets up, they're all done. Uh, but they have She's Hard to Get in a liner, which is $26 and in a lipstick, which is $32. And that's available now if you're interested. Uh, Tatcha has a new The Rice Watch. It's a gently effective cream cleanser that washes away impurities without stripping skin, leaving your complexion apparently softer and more luminous. Um, it is launching on the 3rd of August for $35, which isn't that bad for Tatcha because that's usually crazy expensive. It has vitamins A, B2, B12 and E and it has um, Okinawa red algae and hyaluronic acid. So it should be fairly hydrating as well. Uh, Luxy Beauty have some new shadows. Elena recently did a video on Luxy Beauty and the look she created was beautiful. It was, of course, purple because that is her shade. She is to purple as I am to green. That is an analogy. And if you're able to understand that, that means you have fairly high intelligence because analogical reasoning is correlated with intelligence. Psychological fact of the day. Boom. Um, also, it's very difficult for people with language disabilities to understand. So those are the one side of the population asterisks that struggle with it. Sorry, that went weirdly psychology there. <gasps> Whoops, get into another video. Uh, this is their Butterfly Kisses collection. They are $3 each or you can get the entire bundle for $30. Um, they all look to be like shimmers slash duochrome type things. For $3, that's actually really good. Luxie Beauty is one of the more affordable uh, indie brands and I think they're actually really, really nice. Do check out Elena's video on it. Uh, Sweet Escape Lashes have a new uh, Beautiful Sprinkles eyeshadow palette. It is 15 shades and has four shimmers and 11 mattes and it's $25. There isn't enough depth in this. It is just a rainbow palette. The shimmers, you couldn't really do a huge amount with them because they're primarily neutral-ish shimmers. Yeah, not for me. It's $25 if you are interested. Alpha Beauty have uh, released their Drama Mini palette. Um, it is available now, apparently. I don't have any information on the price because it isn't available as I'm filming, but it will be available once it's up. I don't think it's interesting, personally. It's just like a mishmash of colour, which I can't understand. And I love colour. <laughs> uh, Daisy's Baddest Lashes. Can I also just say it kind of... Like, I was looking at their Instagram and they have D-A-I-S-Y-S, -S, baddest lashes. And I know, I know that you can't put an apostrophe in, like, your um, Instagram handle to uh, indicate, like, a possessive. But it still annoyed me. I was like, oh, it's, duh. It should, I was like, maybe they should just spell it D-A-I-S-I-E-S, -S, just so it doesn't trigger me. <laughs> Anyways, whatever. This is their new Lowrider Girl palette. Uh, it is launching on August 1st, so as I am sitting down to film, it will be releasing later on this evening. I don't know how much it is, but if you like that, that is available now. Uh, Paris Lynn Collection also have their Masquerade palette, which is launching on the 1st of August. It has some glitter, some mattes, and one or two shimmers. Again, I can't figure out what I would do with this. It seems like just a mishmash and I can't figure out a cohesive thing that you would do with that. Doesn't make sense to me. House Labs are coming out with their Identify, E-Y-E, Identify, gel pencil, eyeliner, and I believe they're $18 each and they come in lots of different shades. I was looking at that pale blue shade and I was like, hmm, that's interesting. And you know, I was looking at the greens also, but I'm like, I did just order a really interesting green shade from Urban Decay and I got like um some blues from Barry M which are quite good so I can't really justify that but if you are interested and you're a fan of Lady Gaga you're a fan of House Labs that is available from August 4th on their website. Um, I have been sneak peeking this for the longest time. This is the collab between Clarity Cosmetics and Heels and Brushes. It's their Reign of Colour palette. It's available now for $40. Again, I I um, I don't a hundred percent understand the color story. Maybe it's just I'm like having complete not fatigue, but like a, a lack of inspiration. I can't figure out 
what to do with things. Like I don't immediately look at that and go, this is what I would do with that. I mean, it's okay. I don't find it particularly interesting, but there you go. Uh, Cheekbone Beauty, which are a Canadian indigenous brand. They have these fabulous new face packages and they are made with sustainable packaging, which can we just for a moment be like, that is brilliant. I also like that it seems that you can take um, like the singles of those like face stuff out I think that's really really smart so I would imagine down the line they will probably be selling those as singles as well that you can just pop things in and out I think that is so so smart and they've also apparently uh, released their lipsticks and biodegradable packaging as well if you're interested in uh, the palettes they are 49 Canadian dollars each um Coloured Rain are releasing uh, re releasing releasing their Juicy Boost pressed pigments. So they have um, an 18 pan palette and you can either get it as like a big long palette or you can get it as like a color book. So one part is nine shades. Um, I'll show it next to me. And then it's the other side is the other nine shades. And I initially thought when I was looking that, at that that they were releasing them as two separate nine pan eyeshadows. And I was like, that is really smart. I would like this particular nine pan shadow. It was the one with the, the green, the reds, the blue. Um, it was more like matte. And I was like, I'm interested in that. I wasn't so interested in the other side, but apparently that's that's not what they're doing. But I, I, I'm not gonna get it because it's $52. Yes, it is vegan, cruelty free. It is black owned brand. And I really, really enjoy anything I've tried from Color Drain. I will only get this if I'm picking up a couple of other things from Color Drain and I won't be picking up anything from Color Drain for the moment. So unless, unless, I'm going to put this out as a call here, is anybody else getting anything from Color Drain or do they want to get anything from Color Drain and we can split customs <laughs> and shipping? I do think it's interesting. I think it's nice. Um, Eco Tools have come out with a new perfecting uh, makeup blender. It's $4.88. And what I do think is interesting about this is it's infused with antimicrobial silver, which is really good. It kills bacteria. So I think that's actually very good for a makeup sponge because I personally wash my makeup sponges after every single use because I'm like, I don't want to be spreading bacteria all over my face. So I I think this is actually, that's an extra nice little measure. Um, Makeup Eraser have some new things. They have a new uh, watermelon seven day set. So it's just their Makeup Eraser, but with like a watermelon print, that's $25. And they have a new Makeup Eraser, which has a cherry print, which is $20. F FYI, yeah, I was going to say FTW and I was like, for the win? No, FYI, God, acronyms are hard. Uh, one makeup eraser is apparently equal to 3,600 makeup wipes. So it is much more sustainable if you are interested. I use face halos. I quite like them. I am not sponsored. Obvi. I have like 400 subscribers. You don't care. You do. You do. And I, I really appreciate you. I'm being sassy. Mm. I think it's just my proximity to Sergeant because she's actually a very, very sassy cat. Like she's very like, watch out. Aren't you, boo-boo? She literally has her paw overhead like, I don't care. Everything you say is uninteresting to me. True, true. Uh, this is Z Cosmetics LLC. Uh, they are introducing their Culture Shock Volume 1. That is coming out on August 1st. Those blues are very, very similar. Um, the yellows are similar, but one is more like mustard toned and one is a more like true yellow. I personally don't get it. I don't, mm, it's not, not for me. There's very little that I'm interested in today. Morphe have also launched this 35C Everyday Chic Artistry Palette for $25. It's, it's available now in Ulta. They need to edit themselves because there's a few shades there that look exactly the same. Yeah. I'm all right. I feel like if you have uh, the 39S, which is the beautiful purple palette and the uh 35m which is the boss mood you've like some greens in there some purples and it's a, a lot more interesting than this like i'm just gonna say just just gonna say uh mama Cita cosmetics also has a new la brown eyes eyeshadow palette it is 20 dollars. it has seven mattes and eight shimmer shades really because they all look the same Edit yourself. Why don't you edit yourself? It's very upsetting to me. 5050 Makeup has a new release. It is their loose duochrome and multi-chrome pigments. They are 
I believe a European indie brand and I, I want to say that they are black owned. I'm fairly certain that they are. They're retailing for €8.50 each if you are interested. They look quite nice. Um, now we are on to the sneak peek section. So this is stuff that I've just kind of gotten a glimpse of. We don't have a huge amount of information on, don't know when it's releasing. It's just like little snippets. But if you want to know if there are certain brands that you really like, you can be kind of keeping an eye out on their Instagram or whatever that they may be coming out with something. So Glamlight is coming out with something. It's their cookies and milk collection. So I've also put down an affiliate code. It's not mine. It's from Amy Loves Makeup and it will get you money off if you are interested in Glamlight. Um, Plain and Makeup by Yolanda is coming out with a blush palette. I really like the look of this. I don't, again, don't know when it's coming out, but I, I like a, I quite like that there's a yellow blush in there because that's quite editorial. I can't get away with it, but I think that's, that's quite cool. Uh, BBLM Cosmetics are coming out with their Wake Prey Slay palette on the 8th of August. So yeah, that's there. Uh, Nomad Cosmetics have given a sneak peek to one of the shades that are coming out in their palette. That is launching on August the 6th. Uh, Bish Beauty have a new release coming soon. It's apparently going to be limited qu quantity. So if you're interested, I guess, turn your alerts on for that. Um, ja Cosmetics is a new uh, brand. It's uh, so apparently going to be coming um, in October. So it is, of course, owned by uh, Makeup With Ja, who did the uh, clientele palette with Be Perfect. So if you liked her stuff, this might be something to keep an eye out on. Autumn Leaf Beauty is, by the way, a black-owned, cruelty-free, vegan and paraben-free brand. And they are coming out with two new palettes. Um, so it is the Rowan and the Brilliant Scarlet Eyeshadow Palette. And they will be coming soon. Uh, Makeup Scientist Cosmetics have a new periodic table palette, which is, again, coming soon. Odin's Eye Cosmetic have given a sneak peek to one of their new products. It's... It, I mean, the shades are interesting. <sighs> Be Perfect needs to just release this already and stop giving us like little sneak peeks. I'm not going to show the shades that have been revealed because like I think most of us have seen it at this point, but they have shown us the highlighters. I do quite like the highlighters. Don't know what kind of um, colours they'll be or not, not colours. I know the colours. I don't know what price they'll be. There's Soft Silk, which is a golden sun kiss glow. Hollow Glaze, which is a luminous skin finish with a pop and pink and purple um, haze, which I really like. Uh, Do You, which is a flawless dewy glow with a pink champagne finish. I also like that one. And Skin Sheen, which is a sickening icy glow uh, with reflex of golden blue. I also like that. And obviously we've seen the outside of the palette and some of the lip products and lashes as well. I want this. Dark Magic Cosmetics is coming out with something new and it is a really nice green palette. I want it. It is coming out August 10th, uh, 2020. Um, it has four mattes, two shimmers and two diamonds. I don't know what diamond shadows are, but I want them. Oh, it's going to be really frustrating if it's like, I think they're an American brand and then like customs and stuff, but I really... The look of that. I really like the look of that. Um, Exo Beauty Shop have also given a sneak peek of an upcoming palette. Looks pretty neutral. There you go. Um, M Cosmetics, E-M-M-E -M -M -E Cosmetics, Canadian brand, have uh, revealed that they're coming out with 10 new matte shadows. They're going to be launching on August the 14th. Um, they're quite smoky colours. I like those. Uh, Ila Luce is um, a new brand by Camila Coelho. Apparently she's an influencer. I say apparently. I'm not very up to date on all of these things. I have a limited number of people I subscribe to and watch uh, diligently. Uh, apparently Ila Luz means she's light in Portuguese. So well done her. It's going to be apparently available August 3rd if you're interested. Ace Vita are coming out with a new nostalgia palette. Uh, again, that's a black owned brand. Interesting to see what that'll be. Um, the L&B Boutique and Cosmetics are constantly coming out with things. I feel like I'm talking about them every single week. They have a new uh, fall collection. Um, apparently that is coming soon. Uh, it has uh, lashes, loose glitters and the Witch Hot eyeshadow palette. Um, Sample Beauty are pairing up with Beth Painter Makeup. And this is a sneak peek of their palette, which looks massive. It is 30, 30 shades, 27 mattes and three ultra foil shimmers. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that, being a primarily matte. There you go. Um, Peach Queen have also uh, announced that they're coming out with their tarot eyeshadow palette to each their own. This is by J Self Cosmetics and it's their makeup therapy eyeshadow palette and it reminds me so much of the Wet n Wild Bretman Rock Jungle Rock palette. 
Does anybody else see that or is it just me? Like it looks so much like it. No, just me. Okay, there you go. Well, that is coming soon if you are interested. Blending Factory Cosmetics are also announcing that they're coming out with the Cleopatra Secret Eyes, uh, Secrets Eyeshadow Palette. Um, and that is going to be coming out Monday, August 3rd. That is that for sneak peeks. Now we are on to the enabler alert. Um, there's been a lot of stuff going on this week in terms of like National Lipstick Day, which I'm like, is it not International Lipstick Day? But I mean, that's, I guess it's just semantics, isn't it? Really? Or am I just being like really pedantic? I probably am being horrifically pedantic. We have uh, Nip and Fab have this whole bundle here. It's apparently worth £227.45, but you can get the whole thing together for £49.99. By Terry also has a 50% off uh, an awful lot of their lines. Tarte has a 30% off a lot of their items and at one point they had 50% off their shape tape. I don't know if that's still going, but as of filming, that was true. Uh, Unicorn Cosmetics have uh, the code 4420, the letter or the number four, 420. Um, again, all of the info will be down below in the description box and that will give you 50% off. Um, so yeah, there you go if you're interested. Um, Yardy Cosmetics have 30% off. Uh, you don't have to use any sort of codes. Um, Sultry Beauty Cosmetics have the She Slay palette on sale for $13.99. You just have to use the code SHESLAY01 to get that. Um, L'Amour Cosmetics have a sale on at the moment that you can get 30% off uh, any spend of $35 or more. Beauty Me Vivian have 50% uh, off their Honey From Blau uh, palette at the moment. Opulent Beauty Cosmetics have free shipping on all of their orders if you use the code FREESHIP25. Riviera Rose Beauty have all of their liquid lipsticks down to £9.50. Midas Cosmetics have their Lemonade palette down to $11 from $18. Cloud10 Beauty have a sale on at the moment where there's up to 50% off everything in their sale shop. Uh, Selfridges have 30% um, off selected beauty. So they sell a lot of like... Um, Pat McGrath and like fancy, fancy things. So if you want to treat yourself, there you go. Uh, Butte X Bisco uh, have a sale on at the moment. Their stuff is organic, vegan and handmade. Uh, Gamer Glam Cosmetics have their Space Legend eyeshadow palette. It's on sale now for $17. It's usually retailing for $35 if you're interested. KK Beauty have 15% uh, off all of their orders if you use the code SUMMER. So that will get you 15% off. Uh, 88 Cosmetics have 50% off all of their eyelashes at the moment if you use the code LASH50. Shop Bad Gal Lux have a 30k back uh, flash sale. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's their back to school. So all their regular collection lashes are $6.50. Their cosmetic glitters are $3.50. And their new cosmetic line is discounted. And eyelash suitcases are 50% off. Um, Aquafina's Beauty Shop have um, a little bit off their um, Aquafina's palette. It's down from $15 to $12. Alien Cosmetics have 20% off if you use the code LEO. Lobos Glam Lashes have a sale on at the moment. It's 50% uh, off your whole purchase if you use the code SAVE50. Labelle UK have a warehouse sale on at the moment. Uh, no code is needed and it is active until the 2nd of August. And that is it. Oh, I can oh, shift myself over and make myself comfy again. That is everything that has been released, sneak peeked. Um, I was going to say sneak pucked, but I'm like, that is not the correct um, formation of that particular verb, Teresa. You're getting more stupid as time is moving on. Um, yeah that that's it uh, do please like comment and subscribe you know the drill when you like when you comment when you subscribe it tells youtube that i am worth living <laughs> i need external validation that's exactly what a 30 year old woman needs loads of external validation uh do please share because sharing is caring unless of course it's an std in which case you know wrap it up stop sleeping around like don't mean to shame you but like at least just go to the clinic first and just check you know, don't be passing it around. It's, it's not okay. <laughs> uh, but that is it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.